like inside here in the house I can wear dresses I can put on makeup but when I move out the house I can just be in hiding I put on jackets heavy jackets to hide my, my identity Aliyah Adams was born in Kampala but two years ago she left the country of her birth fearing for her safety mm, I left Uganda because I was publishing the newspapers in 2014 in, in March first and second my pictures and my real names were published in the newspapers. Uganda is one of the most intolerant places in the world for the LGBT community. Police regularly break up gay pride rallies. Whatever you want to go, whatever you want to do, more than go back. Mobs of vigilantes harass and attack. Sometimes the victims are killed. Most of these videos from Uganda are too graphic to show you. Um, in Uganda, most of the refugees who have fled have been gay, the men, not so much as women. By persecuting them, you're going against their right to human dignity. It is very undignifying, for instance, to try and um, strip them, cleanse them through rape. It's just wrong in every respect. I was just away from home by my family because my father was calling me. I'm terrible. I was spoil his children. Now I'm also here in Kenya. Life is not so okay. Most LGBT refugees flee to neighbouring Kenya. Here, they live in the poorest neighbourhoods and conditions aren't much better than Uganda. It's a tough existence. But living and working in dense settlements means there are very few secrets. Recently, Umar Walusimbi was attacked while walking home. They called me, you gay, where are you going? Give us money. I told them, which money can I give you? Am I gay? They slapped me. I fell down. It was like, they wanted even to ban me. They do everything to me. Refugees can't work in Kenya, so the 25-year-old provides manicures and pedicures and charges about $3. He wants to be resettled, but is struggling with the uncertainty. I also lose hope. I just ask even myself, why can't I die? What are you doing on earth? It's like that. Kenya is a steadfastly religious society. Almost every denomination denounces homosexuality. It's a deviation from the norm. In fact, the Bible clearly calls it an abomination. And there's no place for them. You know, God hates homosexuality. But he loves the person uh, because it's sin. God hates sin, but he loves the sinner. The Bible says that we should treat the aliens kindly and we will offer refuge for them, but of course we will not open it up for them to come and practice their evil here. It was an evening and a day. Kevin Mochiro is an activist in Kenya. He says like anywhere, the LGBT community is broad and varied. It isn't easy. It isn't easy for any refugee, but it's even harder if you are queer. But usually, a person's quality of life is tied to economic circumstances. Yeah, it depends on the situation that you're in. There are those who may have money and come into the country seamlessly and, and just almost move on as, as normal, and there are those who just find it difficult. Most Ugandan refugees have applied for resettlement in a third country. Leah Adams is one of the lucky ones. My location is going on well. I'm at the embassy already, in the Netherlands embassy. And I'm just waiting for, for my flight. Yeah. It took 18 months for her application to be approved. She's now counting down the days, but many others are living in limbo. Very many countries were open to accepting um, people who've been persecuted on the basis of their sexual orientation. However, recently, um, this is no longer happening. The 
UNHCR has refused to grant us an interview and they also stopped us from filming a protest outside of their headquarters here in Nairobi. They say they don't want to compromise the safety of any individual refugee. Now, the ABC understands that at least one case has been referred to Australia's High Commission and what that means is an LGBT refugee may soon be calling Australia home. If they can help us, at least to, to, to reset us, huh? at least you Australian, please, at least open, open, so that, okay, I can say, open your embassy so that, so that you can start resettling us. Yeah, because here in Kenya, we are people, we are people like you.